And then another story breaking overnight with so much going on in the Holy Land right now. Israeli warplanes have bombed targets in Lebanon and Gaza after a wave of rocket attacks against Israel. This is the most serious flare-up of violence along the Israel-Lebanon border in nearly 20 years. Ian Lee has been tracking the latest developments from London. Overnight, Israeli warplanes hit Gaza and Lebanon. Israel says the strikes were in retaliation for dozens of rockets fired by Hamas. This marks the biggest barrage by militants from Israel's northern neighbor in 17 years. To the south, in Gaza, loud explosions rock the strip as Israel says it targeted tunnels and weapons manufacturing sites. This Palestinian resident says, we heard a loud blast, then another that shook our house and shattered our windows. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called for calm at a cabinet meeting Thursday night and added, we will strike our enemies and they will pay the price for any act of aggression. As dawn revealed deep craters and broken buildings, the cycle of violence continued. Gaza militants fired another volley of rockets. Israel says its Iron Dome missile defense system intercepted many of them. This volatile situation erupted earlier in the week after Israeli police raided Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem. Palestinians say they were praying peacefully. Israeli authorities say it was a response to rioting.